Welcome back to Tech, Tesla, and Trends. The question I have tonight, does Tesla need to enter the shipping market? Specifically, do they need ships of their own? And if they do, are they going to build electric ships? That would be an interesting project in and of itself. I'd love to see. Now, looking at why that might be necessary, in Q3, the, the report there, Elon mentioned that they were having difficulty getting shipping berths for cars out of China into Europe. And there's also some difficulty with shipping berths out of Germany, um, specifically the Bremerhaven uh, port there. Uh, and it comes down to the drive-on, drive-off fleet around the world is down 13 ships over the last three, three and a half, four years, roughly. Uh, a good number of those have been lost due to either mechanical problems or the ice, likely the ice engine cars catching fire on the deck. Uh, that's where the flames originated is on the car carrier deck. So... That's a pretty serious thing on board ship fires are, you know, fire on a ship is a very bad thing. Uh, and it, once you've got cars burning, that's, uh, you, you know, you've seen what happens when a car burns. It's ugly. And looking at the damage that's occurred overall to the shipping fleet, uh, I think it's something like five or six have burned and sunk. Another three or four have uh, either capsized or listed over 60% uh, and have caused their the cargo that was on board to be pretty much destroyed because they're not going to, from an insurance perspective, they don't want to be responsible for anything that happens to those vehicles after the fact. Uh, so no matter how important those vehicles may have been, in, in some cases like uh, Bentleys and I, I think one was a $35 million Bentley. Uh, so just crazy numbers there uh, that have been lost because of the shipping issue, which it's not just ships. What it turns out is that there's a shortage of drivers for getting vehicles onto those drive-on, drive-off ships, which Tesla, if you're thinking about FSD, doesn't necessarily need drivers for that. But they would need to be operating their own ships, I believe, from an insurance perspective and from everything else uh, to be able to ignore whatever union contract may actually exist in that regard for operating getting cars onto a ship because you know that's just the nature of dock work so looking at how that would play out if tesla had their own ships they could use fsd to drive onto and and park those vehicles then looking at the next phase they can drive off those ships when they reach their destination which seems to increase the speed at which things would drive on and drive off because you're not waiting on people to accomplish those tasks. And then the next part of this is a little more challenging. It's the trucks that are used to transport and also the rail. This is another one of those kind of got a head scratcher here uh, that the rail cars are not available for transporting vehicles. And it's not just in Europe. There's been a couple of cases where this is occurring also within the United States. Uh, so there's, there's some definite challenges that exist within the shipping world. And Elon has repeatedly said if there's any um, area that is causing problems with the delivery of cars, not just cars, but any technology that is 
part of the long-term solution of, of making life multi-planetary or of the making uh, green energy more sustain sustainable uh, earlier on, you know, the world's transition to sustainable energy, uh, that those would be items that would be looked at and either fixed or they might enter the market entirely, as is occurring with lithium processing and lithium mining. So I have to wonder if there isn't an argument to be made or a conversation to be had at some level within Tesla where shipping, entering the shipping world is a necessity. Whether that means they're buying their own ships or commissioning their own ships, I don't know. But or just entering into a, a long-term partnership in which in the which only Teslas are shipped on on a ship. Uh, that could be uh, an aspect of that particular uh, way of looking at it. Given the numbers of Tesla cars that are going to need to be shipped over the next decade as Tesla ramps up to 20 million vehicles a year, this becomes more of a, a serious conversation piece, I think. Tesla definitely has a, a gap, I think, from a, a shipping perspective especially when you consider all of those vanishing ships. Uh, the, a good chunk of the global fleet for shipping vehicles has gone missing over the last three years and been either forcibly retired or just flat lost at sea. So these challenges between ship and train and truck, which, you know, Tesla did a complete about face on the semi because they're at the beginning of the year we weren't going to get any additional uh, product launches and then lo and behold Q3 hey wait we're going to launch the semi before the end of the year I wonder does it have any relationship to the shipping issues that are occurring do they need to spin semi up faster so that they'll be able to ship cars across country and to do so more effectively, not only uh, in the United States, but perhaps even in Europe as the years move forward and as they get closer to that 20 million mark, which is uh, 20 million vehicles manufactured in a given year. I think with Platform 3, that number becomes a, a much more likely uh, avenue with that decreased uh, cost because it's not just a, a linear uh, climb in number of vehicles desired as you bring the price down. It's, it is definitely more of an, uh, an exponential that occurs. So long term, I see that the challenges that Tesla has been having with shipping their vehicles as potentially causing them to, to have to investigate either entering the, the shipping market as a, as a partner of some sort or flat out either acquiring or creating their own, as they've done with insurance, their own shipping company. And if they did so, that's why I wonder, would it make sense to make electric or wind-powered ships? There's a lot of research that's been into that and some testing that's in early phases right now out on the seas. So, um, I wonder what Tesla could do on the seas. And I would love to see that in, in coming days, probably years. But that is, I, that's the question for the, for the night. Does Tesla need to enter the shipping market? I would love to hear from you down below in the comment section. It, it is a topic that there's... There's a lot of articles out there about the, the vanishing ships and how they've either caught fire or, or uh, run aground or been scrapped for other reasons. And you just you look at what's going on and the challenges that exist for Tesla as they grow. It seems to me that there may be an argument for Tesla entering the shipping market. And maybe not next year. By 2025 or 26, I think that it may be necessary. 
and it will be interesting to see where that how this develops and uh, and whether Tesla will enter the shipping market. Anyways, it's it's a good question and I'd love to hear your 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 input. I'll talk to you a little bit later. We'll carry this on in the comments below.